Hey, my bold and the beautiful fans. Yes, it's Wednesday. Happy hump day, the middle of the week. And we got another episode to talk about. First, we see Hope tells Deacon that her marriage is over. Wyatt suggests Liam wants Finn out of the way so he can reunite with Steffi. Liam tells Finn's secret to Steffi and Sheila and Deacon reunite. Welcome back to CBS Soap Dish Recap, where we recap everything CBS Soaps, both the young and the restless and the bold and the beautiful. This is your bold and the beautiful recap for July 26th. And without any further ado, let's talk about this episode. So let's start out over at Irjadino where we see Hope is telling Deacon and her mom that she wanted something different. And I guess it's something they have in common. Why? Deacon wanted something different too. A woman with nine toes instead of ten. She tells them that Liam was the one that wanted the divorce and she gave him exactly what he wanted. Now Brooke is there too and when she heard that from Hope... Yeah, her mouth dropped, asking her what was she talking about. Brooke, you know what divorce mean. I mean, you had a few yourself. She asked Hope, what did you do? Well, Brooke, she pulled one of your numbers and pulled out the divorce papers. You know, the ones you always have handy for Steffi and Liam. Now, she told her mom and her dad that, yep, we signed the papers. Brooke tells Hope that Liam doesn't really want a divorce. He's just angry. Girl, Thomas put it on hope had her toes and eyes all turned up at the same time and put her to sleep i mean hope tell your mom that thomas is your destiny and then maybe she'll understand that term then we see this mystery lady sat down beside them and of course we can probably all guess who it was none other than sheila carter and of course she is listening hard on their conversation she got a big old hat and some sunglasses deacon got an alert on his phone notifying him that he got a package waiting for him so now we're over at spencer's where we see wyatt is still talking to liam about that hug between finn and sheila calling sheila psycho Psychopath. Uh, Wyatt, don't come for someone's mother when your mom and your dad aren't that far off. I mean, she kidnapped Liam and held him up for a month after he hit his head and got a concussion. Made him to believe they were married. Then she stalked the idiot. Wyatt told him that he had to bring up a couple of things and asked Liam, what about the whole thing kissing Steffi in Rome? This man had to nerve to say, what does this have to do with Finn and Sheila? However, Wyatt, yeah, he held him accountable. I totally get you being concerned about Finn's disturbing relationship with that psychopath, okay? I get it. But as your brother, I kind of need to call you out on a few things. Oh, God, what? What things? Uh, what? Well, for starters, how about the fact that you kissed Steffi in Rome? What does that have to do with uh, Finn and Sheila? A lot. What? A no. lot. If it, if it, it does, if it, it affects your feelings and how you're overthinking things and overreacting about things. What? I'm just saying, I understand you being concerned and protective about your kids when it comes to Sheila. I get that. But are you looking for an excuse? to insert yourself back into Steffi's life again and find something to justify upending her marriage to Finn, just so you can have another shot at her. Now, Wyatt, we need to give you a round of applause. You hit the nail on the head. Of course he's looking for a way to insert himself into Steffi's life again, finding something to justify upending her marriage. Liam trying to be all messy and whatnot, but guess where he's headed? Yep, and he made it to Steffi's house fast. She told him how stressful it is having Sheila out of prison. He said, well, that's what I came to talk to you about, Sheila and her husband husband and to destroy your marriage because I guess pretty much he is screwed up at this point. Now he said he was worried about her. She told him that she has fin to protect her. He said, well, maybe not. He goes on to tell her that when the judge dropped the charges, he noticed something in the hallway. When the judge dropped the charges, that it, it was like just pure chaos in that room. Right, so I don't know if you do this or not. Clocked what? But Finn leaving the room. You, you remember that? Do you, he yeah, just, he yeah, left. He, he was checking in on a patient. You didn't yeah. find that strange? Like, like that couldn't wait, especially in that moment. What are you saying? Well, 
I followed him out there. How was you follow him? Because it was weird, Steffi. It was totally weird. Like how the timing of it, how he was acting, his body language, the way he was looking at Sheila, like the whole vibe was off. And Sheila had just been, she'd been led out of the room ahead of him. And so when I, when I followed them out there, what I saw blew my mind. And I debated coming to you with this, but at the end of the day, it's all about safe, right? Can you just tell me what the hell you're talking about? Fine. What did you see? Just know this is gonna tell shock me. you. Tell all me. right, but just, uh, please understand that I'm not saying any of this to like mess with your marriage or cause problems or anything, okay? But when I got out of the room and I saw them, Sheila was in Finn's arms. What? No. No, no, that, that can't be. Well, it is. It's Sheila and Finn were, they were hugging Steffi. And Liam being messy, gossiping. I mean, he can't even hold water. But while you're telling secrets, make sure you tell yours that uh, you kissed his wife. And by the way, Steffi, you need to tell your husband he kissed you too. Liam telling her that he's not telling her this to mess up her marriage. Man, please, that's exactly what you're trying to do with this messiness. He tells Steffi that he saw Sheila in Finn's arms. Steffi was like, no, no, this can't be. Yeah, Liam told her that they were hugging. And yeah, you can tell that Steffi is not happy to hear this information. The question is, is Liam going to win brownie points for this? And finally, we got to go back to the mystery woman and this text message Deacon got. Now, Deacon made it back to his little love shack that he used to share with Sheila looking for his package. I mean, you would think with him now owning this restaurant that he would still even be living there. He came looking for the package. Guess who showed up? None other than nine-toed Sheila. And she let herself in, shut the door, and she locked it. Come on, Hollis, where the hell did you put this thing? What the hell? I'm back, Daddy. Um, Steffi, yeah, in regards to Sheila stalking you in this moment, the only person she's stalking right now is Deacon right into his bed. And we all know what's going to happen next. I don't know if she's going to be as good as the whole situation with Thomas and Hope. But yeah, I think these two are going to be busy for a while. So Steffi, I don't think you have anything to worry about. Okay, so there you have it, your bold and the beautiful recap for Wednesday, July 26, 2023. If you haven't checked out the Young and the Restless recap for today, it has been uploaded to the channel. And until the next video, like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.